the sun To dream Hey, welcome back. So, this video we're gonna I'm gonna give you an update on my F2P account to T4 account. So, as you can see, there's that first purchase bonus still available, which means there has been no money spent on this particular account and it's had 157 days of consecutive login. So, I started this account a little bit over five months ago so let's uh, go over the progress where we stand with this particular account so it's VIP 11 for me to get to VIP 12 is going to require almost 60 more thousand VIP points and you know the huge difference between VIP 12 is that you're able to open all gifts with that one just one click which makes it so much easier right like this right here I have to literally click on each one and when I get like 300 field that takes a lot so I mean sometimes I'll use a auto clicker and just keep clicking away but that's a hassle too it's so much easier when you can just uh, click on just one button to take care of it all Anyway, so last time, about three weeks ago, when I updated this account, it was about 23 million, almost going on 24 million. But as you know, for past few weeks, about what, about 10 days out of those, we had that little push 30% off on the research. So I spent all of my speeds that I had at the time towards pushing to T4. So if we look at my speeds, speed ups now, I don't really have that much. Uh, as you can see, it's just one day and even the research ones, I don't have much. And this is what I've been able to collect for the past, I don't know, I don't even know how, when. But after I spent everything. And of course, I did not use any speed ups for training because I don't plan on having a lot of troops on here and I will use these probably for T4 once I get there as far as the chest I don't have anything it's a it's an F2P account so we can't expect much out of that I'm saving brave hearts just for later when I get to T4 or hopefully by the time I get to T4 I can get that open but right now it's really not needed or necessary for me to push my heroes talking by heroes so i can actually hire watcher because of that push that i did towards uh research when it was discounted but again i'm not going to open up watcher unless i have enough to have gold or open with the gold watcher and i guess there's really no way for me to tell so um yeah we might as well open it okay so let's go ahead and open it Ooh, watcher so let's see how many we have now i don't have oh okay on the watcher we have one metal so how many do i need i need 150 150 and 20 so 220 ish so i gotta do 220 watcher metal for it to get gold and probably when they release mythic 200 watcher metal again that's gonna be pretty insane so it may almost not be worth it but uh with this particular account my plan is to open up all heroes that's going to add to the stats because i plan on using this as a t4 account to use it more for the attacking side than trapping anything so I will need other heroes like uh, Soul For Forger is something I will need and C Squire is also something I will need so I will open those up as well eventually but first I want to get first five um, open or to gold like Rose Knight, Demon Slayer, Bomb and Goblin and Child of Light, uh, Snow Queen 
So I want to get those six opened up or get them to gold so I can put them on my wall. Then I'll work on other ones. So let's see. So that's the hero right now. Now let's go over to my wall. I don't have any familiars open yet. But I do have these stationed. Uh, in fact, that one needs to be changed to. So we'll change that out to Old Keeper. So now I got one gold on there and one purple. So let's look at troop comp on this account. It doesn't have much and it's got 415,000 and that's all I've been building. I feel like I built enough of the siege, but I'm what I'm probably going to do is make it into T3 siege because what I want to do is I want to keep my troop comp troop uh, comp minimum minimal so that way with the low numbers I can use stacking familiars let's go into my familiars stacking familiars like Griffin trickstar or mo, mo shaman on my wall so that it can activate when I'm getting attacked I figure losing 10% should not be that tough if I stay with about 2 million troop count and mostly T4 range, you know, not range, range troop type, but around t 2 million T4s, I think I should be able to bounce that off pretty well, or maybe not even that much. So I'm planning on having the front line of T4 plus a little bit of T2 combination to get the t2s wounded easily so it can activate these stacking familiars so that's my plan on but with the familiars i've already gotten pack three open and that's probably all i'm going to do i'm still going to remain conscious really uh i don't know cheap on trying to stay low might but it is going to be a t4 possibly t5 account so you know it's not going to be like 50 60 million might account it's definitely going to be above 100 million easy since it's a t4 account and if i do decide to push for t5 which is 80 million in research additional then that's what it may be so it, we may be looking at 200 250 million might account and beyond so we will see how it goes but right now i'm not doing any crazy research for anything else so let's look at my buildings you'll notice my gem is down to twenty-eight thousand, and we've probably seen it up as high as hundred thousand and that's because i'm spending my gems on these buildings here you'll notice the prisons already yet that was prison. okay you'll notice the prison here is already at level 23 i'm going to try to take it to obviously 25 as quick as possible so you know there's 3000 and then 4500 so that's 75000 in gems to just take the prison from level 23 to 25 so i already have about 2500 so 45 five okay 50 more thousand I can take prison to level 25 so it takes quite a bit of gems I think they estimate around what 700,000 gems to be able to take all these buildings up to level 25 so it's going to be a while but I'm keep I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve uh, spending all my gems whenever I can I'm not really doing anything else with this particular account now with this of course my research as well that's the, where I spent most of it that's where most of the might come from so on the economy tree which is required for t4 they're all up at level 9 now 
and the next tree is military tree and I've actually gotten pretty decent uh, far down the road not um, level nines all the way level nines so I'm working on army defense level nine now which I don't have speed to finish this and and then I work on army offense level nine after that we'll jump to ten and hopefully by the time I get done with these ten my buildings Hopefully we'll be ready or Academy 25 will be there. Uh, we are still at building C24 and biggest reason why I'm doing that is because I want to be able to earn more off of Hell's Event when I do eat with each of these and it allows me to get Watcher at easier rate um, and also I can place within so many ranks for um, being C24 so that's why I'm staying at C24 but once I push everything that's a requirement to go C25 then I will probably go to C25 right now I I can actually I believe go to C25 as long as I have the infirmary and you notice I already have all the gold hammers so you know, I just got to get the infirmary done, but I know the research were so far away from it. So I'm not pushing the infirmary just yet. So this is what I need to focus on. But whenever I can, I'm getting these three buildings up. And when I run out of gems and I can't get any cups or crystals or whatnot, then I start pushing normal buildings again. But going to C25, Academy 25 will require not just C25, but it will also require Castle Wall or yeah, Castle Wall. Your Watchtower's got to be 25 Vault, uh, Battle Hall Altar obviously, Trading Post, and Infirmary. So all of those got to be 25 for your Academy to be 25. So. We still got quite a ways to go on C25 or Academy 25, but I am trying to use as many gems as possible being F2P, but not too bad within 156 days or within five months. We've come a decent pace with this. Um, now with Coliseum, I'm at 30, 76. We just migrated into this uh, kingdom so I think I should be able to move up a little bit more of course I'm not gonna be first uh, at this or anything but I should change out a few of these uh, let's go ahead and just go that way so this will be um, moving up and earn some more gems that way let's look at gear so in my cabinet I don't have much and none of these are actually blue or anything I'm still actually trying to work on my lunar scimitar uh, because I'm F2P and I'm too lazy to gather I'm pretty much trying to get all of these through whatever guild quest or whatever naturally comes so I'm not moving it up real quick but it doesn't matter by the time I get T4 this should be mythic I think and these other ones I'm not too worried about either right now I'm, my main focus is keeping this account at low might as possible but having all the military requirements and of course how fast can I get to T5 was the original goal anyway so whether the equipment or my weapons or whatever equipment's good or not that's something to worry about after t4 and like i said once i get to t4 i'm probably going to go ahead and start purchasing because my original intent was just to see how long it would take as an f2p2 player to get to t4 and as an f2p player getting to t5 t5 probably is never going to happen or it's going to take forever years 
maybe you'll get to T5 by the time T6 comes out, right? So that's not something I'm willing to do. I don't have the patience to take it to T5 F2P. So once I get to T4 as an F2P, I will probably start purchasing and get the gear up to level, get some tombs, tomes so I can start doing T5 researches and such. So that's what will happen. And I think that's about it. We went over the true composition. Uh, we went over gear. Oh, um, let's go over my, what do you call these, might. Okay, so I fairly kept it. Okay, the troops are 5.3 and I'm at 34. So core might's about 29 million right now. And quests, only 137,000 has been cashed in, nothing more. And that'll probably be it. And I'm not in a hurry to get to level 60 or anything. So you won't see me uh, turning in any quests unless it was accidental. And buildings, obviously, it's just whatever. The, uh, whatever's getting there. Building, you can't really do much with it. It is what it is. Research now, however, is 20 million. But you notice it's all military research or economy tree so this particular research will go up in the future even more but i believe with this pace i think t4 we can open it at like 70 million 75 million core might so that should be a very good account to um, base off of for your you know if you inject enough money into the account you should be able to have a solid account with very low might and i may be taking this particular account to low might t5 account to see what i can open t5 with uh, recently i think kpg he actually was the first player to open t5 and actually now has t5 troops and very good gear um he spent some money in gear and jewel and he was actually under 500 million might so that guy is gonna be hitting like a train under 500 million might so don't fall into the notion that just because you're a billion might they might hit harder than 500 500 million might on that guy it he probably hits like a billion miter so anyway um that's what that is and let's see what else we got here obviously my food gathering or sending really not much just because it's a f2p account i don't really have much and you see all my gear is pretty much gray and until i invest some into pax material madness it's probably going to be that way now uh, RSS since I've been saving and getting some help on my hyper account I'm able to get a little bit more of course gold is always lacking on F2P account 71 million only but that's where we stand so I hope this um, account overview on my F2P account I hope you guys enjoyed the video and then we'll catch you on the next update for this account uh, which should be a month away. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.